when I am searching for custom motorcycles on the internet. I never read the article's title. I am always looking for a photograph. That grabs my full attention. It has to have something. That makes me feel surprised at some level. But when I discovered today's machine. I felt surprised two times. This project's aesthetics. Is obviously one of the reasons. What I was not expecting. Is the name of the builder. Because in 2016, I presented a video about his first custom built. Interestingly, based on the exact same model of this project. But this one, looks way better. Welcome. To Racer TV. As you may know, the Honda CX is one of the most customized motorcycles, among the cafe racer scene. This also means, it is hard to create something different. This project may not be the most original, or innovative. But it looks pretty damn beautiful. This, is the Fearless, made in Poland, by Vena Customs. It was built by this man, Chermek, a trial champion, and owner of Venomoto, a full-service motorcycle shop. One of the things I most admire on this build, is the rear section. Because it solves one of the things, I was never a big fan of. But let me explain it better. If you are an old follower of this channel, and also a fan of the Honda CX model, I know exactly what you thought seconds ago. This is the project you were thinking about. Right? Definitely one of the world's best custom Honda CX. The similarities between these two projects, are undeniable. The wheels. The tires the headlight, the color combination. All these features are very similar between these two projects. But I was never completely satisfied, about this rear suspension. I don't mean it's ugly. I just think there is too much empty space, between the rear wheel, and the monoshock. And that is precisely what Venner Customs, ended up solving with this project. Pshermake, created a much more unified version. In other words, I see a very well arranged and connected rear structure. I don't see separate sections. This monoshock system, is much more complex than on most other CX projects I've seen so far and it requires some additional structure on the swing arm. prefer to see the simplicity of a full suspension. But on this particular case, I think this monoshock configuration, made things very interesting. Including this curved tube structure supporting the seat. A very nice choice, also looking like it could come from factory. The paint job is also very interesting. It may look like a simple grey color. But in fact, it has a special finish. Which creates this brushed stainless steel effect. The exhaust pipes are completely handmade. And making them go under the engine, is a clever option. In what concerns to the aesthetics. One of the problems about the Honda CX500, 
is the ground clearance under the engine. Even reducing the height of the suspension. The bottom of the engine always looks too far from the ground. But this exhaust pipe configuration solves this problem quite successfully. This is also one of the things that makes this project look so compact. I think Pshe Make was very clever on this build. He began with some inspiration from one of the most beautiful examples using a CX500 and made his own version, improving what could be improved. I am very glad to see custom builders like Vena Customs. There is a very interesting story about the donor motorcycle to this project. Back to 2016, and Zay, a friend of Pshermek, asked for help to bring an old motorcycle from the city of Voroshlov. After loading the old Honda in the car, and Zay started sharing all their ideas and drawings about a cafe racer project with the CX500. This was when Pshermek started feeling excited. But his excitement exceeded everything we would expect. Because they went on a trip to buy one CX500. And when they arrived, they brought seven. And the CX from today's episode, is precisely one of those seven Hondas. It is funny to realize, how a small moment throughout life, can turn out being so decisive, on our future. And the existence of this beautiful project, proves precisely that. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.